Shalom, shalom, everybody. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I came to extend and I, to say thank you to this privilege and opportunity to be again here before you with the message of God concerning this season and the times that we are living right now. And I want to say thank you to God for this privilege, for everyone that are watching right now, for the moment that you have given to listen. And I believe surely it will not be in vain. And I want to say thank you to the prophets, Blaise and the wife for this opportunity and the whole team of Casarema for being used to be a blessing to comfort the hearts of the souls of God all over the world through this trial and trying season that we shall be strengthened by the faith and the hope in Christ Jesus. And I believe in this season there are many thoughts that are crossing all over the world specifically even to the Christians they are demanding and they are questioning themselves as did God spoke about what is taking place right now? Did God reveal to someone about what is taking place today in the world? Because it is catastrophic, whatever that is taking place. Mothers are losing their children. Children are losing their fathers and mothers. It's painful. When we see Italy, when we see China, when we see the great America, when we see Switzerland, and more and more we can count. It's painful on the things that is happening today in the world. But the question is, in the mind of people, what is God saying now? What is the thought of God? What is it that God is behind whatever that is taking place right now? Ladies and gentlemen, by the grace of God, I believe through this time, just give me a few moments just listen to the thoughts and the message of God that is going to come to you in a few moments because the Bible say that God cannot do anything I mean anything as much you can pray as much you can fast as much you can sow God cannot do anything unless he reveals it to his prophets. So in another word, his prophets, they have the secrets concerning the seasons and the times. And whatever that is taking place in the world, nothing can take place in the world unless at least God revealed it. If not to one prophet, at least two or three because he cannot do anything to the world without passing the revelation to his prophets. So I believe in a few moments we are going to put a video concerning what took place in CLG Maranatha ministry. That's why God has given me the grace to lead the people of God in Kenya, in Nairobi here. God spoke to me and revealed to me some secrets a year ago before whatever that is taking place today. I believe this shall bless you. And then as we come back, I'll give you the message. I heard again what God has for us and for the future for us. God bless you. Let's watch. Thank you. There is something is about to happen. Kuna kitu kinaenda kutendeka. In the world. Katika dunia. The Lord came to me today. Bana kaja kwangu leo. And he said to me to say to everyone who can listen to this.
it has to reach everywhere everyone to listen to this lazima ifike kwa kila mtu asikie hii there is a crisis una shida coming to the world na kuja duniani crisis dryness it's coming to the world Europe will be affected Europa itapigwa America will be affected America pia wataguzwa the only place i saw le mahali niliona becoming ikawa a provision place mahali pa msaada for food kwa chakula to Africa Listen to me. Nisikize. Put these words everywhere. Weka Put timing, kitabu. write it on paper. Andika kwa kitabu karatasi. If you doubt of this, kama unatia shaka, you see it coming to pass. Utaona ikitendeka. It will be news. Utakuwa katika it habari. Will be everywhere. Utakuwa kila mahali. Crisis which will be worldwide. Shida ambayo itakuwa dunia kote. But the only place lakini mahali tu that have seen food ambao nikaona chakula been taken outside ikitolewa ikienda nje it was africa ilikuwa ni africa keep food weka chakula because before it to happen maana kabla itendeke there will be a serious harvest kutakuwa na mavuno when the harvest take place mavuno ikifanyika the harvest keep it weka because there is a time coming maana kuna shida food will be needs watahitaji chakula fishes fish watahitaji samaki and things watahitaji vitu will be needs watahitaji there is a calendar tell your neighbor calendar calendar kuna calendar and in that calendar it is written calendar 2020 na katika ile kalenda imeandikwa mwaka 2020 is it in 20 is it in that calendar there is january in that calendar there is december na january na pia kuna mwezi wa december but there is a rule that is coming and the rulership that is coming from the dark kingdom lakini kunao uh, serikali inayotoka katika ufalme wa they set their calendar weka kalenda yao and they want even children of god to be victim of their calendar na utawala wao wanataka ya kwamba sisi tupigwe na kalenda yao but by the grace of, of god and by the prophetic spirit i got to see it lakini kwa neema ya mungu nikaiona there is a calendar that the enemy has set over 2020 na kalenda shetani ameweka katika mwaka 2020 hear me sikize there is a calendar that the enemy has set to suffer god children kuna kalenda ya kuwatesa watoto wa there is a calendar that the enemy has set to kill people prematurely kalenda ya kuua watu pasipo wakati wao there is a calendar that the enemy has set to cause sickness over the year 2020 kalenda ya kukuletea magonjwa mwaka ujao but i'm here tonight in order to manufacture and to rechange things again kwa hapa nibadilishe kile walichokipanga so when i say you did good to be here you are prophetically into the right place There is something is about to happen. Kuna kitu kinaenda kutendeka in the world katika dunia. There is a crisis. Kuna shida coming to the world. Na kuja duniani. Dryness. It's coming to the world. And he says.
said to me to say to everyone who can listen to this. It's us to reach everywhere, everyone to listen to this. Be affected. Europa itapigwa. America will be affected. America pia wataguzwa. Now to the disaster in Europe and sweeping new measures to contain it. Italy is now the new global epicenter with more than 59,000 cases and more deaths than China. In Spain, more than 29,000 cases as officials there moved to extend a state of emergency for another 15 days. And in Germany, Chancellor Angela Merkel is self-quarantining as a precaution, where there are also signs of hope out of Asia. It will be news. It will be everywhere. Crisis which will be worldwide. Now to the disaster in Europe. A crisis. Getting through this coronavirus, a crisis. There is a calendar that the enemy has set to suffer God children. Kuna kalenda ya kuatesa watoto wali. There is a calendar that the enemy has set to kill people prematurely. Kalenda ya kuawa watu pasipo wakati wawo. There is a calendar that the enemy has set to cause sickness over the year 2020. Kalenda ya kukuletea magonjo wa mwaka ujao. There is a calendar that the enemy has set to kill people prematurely. A convoy of military trucks passes through the northern Italian city of Bergamo. Crematorium so overwhelmed that the military is transporting the dead. There is a calendar that the enemy has set to cause sickness over the year 
the enemy has sent over my year 2020 I am turning you for good by the power of Jesus name 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 wow to God be the glory it is true that God cannot do anything and nothing in the world without revealing it to his servants, the prophets. Because whatever even the enemy is thinking to do in this season, in this time, God could see what the enemy is thinking in his mind. God could see what they are planning in their evil world. Back in the year 2019, it was already orchestrated. They set their calendar in this year 2020 to kill people prematurely to cause such a virus to kill people. But you could see that God cannot allow anything unless he reveals it to his prophets. Katosh Kabrahadiske. There is what I call the mind of God. And there is also what I call the devil mind because both minds has thoughts in it but the devil mind thinks always towards evil thoughts on how to kill on how to throw sickness on how to destroy the people which i'll show you why he wants to kill people why he want to cause sickness why you want to keep people in this time i'm going to show you but also by god's grace the lord is going to help us also to reveal what is in his mind right now it is written in the book of first corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 these are the things god has revealed to us by his spirit the spirit searches all things even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. Verse 16, the Bible says, For who knows, who has known the mind of the Lord, so as to instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. I got to see people of God, even God gets instructed. Even God gets to be counseled. And the person that are going to discover, the one that instructs God and counsel him on what to do is his own spirit. His spirit has the capacity to instruct God on the way to do things. Because the Bible says that the spirit, according to Isaiah chapter 11, that the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of the fear of God, the spirit of knowledge shall rest upon thee. In another word, the spirit that is in God, there is wisdom, there is knowledge, there is counseling in him. In another word, God get counseling from his own spirit. And the Bible says, who has known now the mind of Christ, the mind of God. And the Bible says we have the mind of Christ. In another word, as long as we can have the mind of Christ, we can access what God is thinking right now. <laughs> 
and also as a prophet you can access what God is saying right now through the mind through the thinking of God and also you can see what the enemy the devil is thinking through this season to do to kill and to destroy but there is a time sometimes God seems to be quiet and silent and in that moment is the place where many find it difficult to access the intelligence and the knowledge of God when God is quiet only few people they can have access in the reign of the silence of God I call it the prophetic silence because even when God is silent he's still speaking let me give an example if I'm silent in my mouth not speaking my mind is still speaking my mind is still thinking my mind is still giving a message now the problem is how many people can see my thoughts only my spirit can see it and only God can see it then also in God when he's silent in a situation as what is seen right now to the world why people are thinking why is God not speaking they need some people to access the silence divine of God to access what is it God is saying in this moment and in this time even when he's silent that's why I so, saw there was a man called Micah the prophet Micah when everybody could prophesy the wrong prophecy this man came and gave a prophetic word concerning the king and said king you are getting deceived by the 400 prophets you are going to die you are going to die but the king did not want to listen to him and he said my eyes was opened and I could see the Lord sitting on the throne but while as the 400 prophets they could listen to the devil in another word Satan downloaded a prophetic word and blindness to blind them but only one man could access another eye of God to see that which others could not see in another word that's why I say it's only given to specific privileged people to see even when God is silent what is it is happening behind the scene but this is the thought of God who has the mind of God who can access the mind of God those that they can see those that they can hear those that they can see even while the silence is there it is when the spirit that is in God dwell in a man and when the spirit that is in God dwell in a man automatically you begin operating in the thoughts that is of God what is the thought of God? You read it in Jeremiah. I have a good thought, a good thought for you to prosper you, to cause you to live in peace, in good health, and to cause you to live in prosperity and in abundance. But that thought cannot come to you unless you have the Spirit of God within you. And to see and to bring to change this change in the situations and the events that is happening around you in life. But this is a problem, people of God. While the thought of God is good, but the thought of the enemy is bad. According to Genesis chapter 11, chapter 3, verse 15, the Bible says, I will put enmity between your seed and the seed of the woman. And when God was making a judgment because Adam sinned against God, and the moment he sinned against God, God came and made a judgment. And he said, from today, the seeds of Eve will dominate you and it shall crush your head. And the moment Lucifer listened to that statement, that statement is what is controlling the world today from the beginning to the end, like it or not. The moment Satan listened to that statement, that was the time warfare began in the world. That was the time trouble started in the world. Because Satan could see that through the seed that will come from the stomach of Eve, I will be destroyed. And watch now, Satan began following every single seed that will enter the stomach of Eve. 
The first seed that Eve released, it was Cain. When Cain was birthed, the devil entered Cain, occupied the heart of Cain, destroyed him through hatred, destroyed him through jealousy, destroyed him through pride, and destroyed him through evil thoughts. In another one, he has already occupied the mind of Cain. And then Eve gave birth to another seed. He came again after the seed. And the Bible says that Cain, by that evil spirit, he killed his own brother. And that was the moment that the first murderer was happening in the world because of one seed that was dropped in the stomach of Eve. Then we could see again the seed manifesting to another place. Moses was born. And then there was a decree that was made by the king. And that decree that was made by the king, which was to kill every firstborn, every firstborn from the Jews. Oh God. It was painful. The Bible says, Rachel will cry that my children have gone. It was a painful moment. And it seemed like who can tell us what God is saying to these moments? And it seemed like the death that took place in that time. It causes a confusion and it causes a certain way for people to think in a certain way because people are dying, my children are dying, and all the children are getting gone. But who can intervene concerning this situation? There was nobody. But not knowing that God was watching over his seed that he proclaimed, that there will be a seed out of Eve, and that seed is what will control and destroy the evil seed of the enemy. People of God. That seed seemed to be is the key that switch it will control the whole world and it will destroy the evil seed of the enemy and when Moses was born they kill all the firstborn but God had always a divine escape for the seeds that are born of him and then the seed moved to another place the Bible said Jesus came to a virgin called Mary and when it entered to the body of Mary, even before me to be to Jesus, we can see David. When David was born, David grew up. David was searched by Saul to kill him and to destroy him because the enemy could see that this is the seed that is going to crush me. And he came after David to kill him. But God had a divine escape for David and David became a king. The seed moved again to Jesus. And when Jesus came, the Bible said there was a decree made by a king, still by a king, that every firstborn should die. But all that it was because of a prophecy. And that prophecy was made by God. The seed of Eve will dominate the seed of the snake. People of God, when death entered into the world, when whatever that we are calling to the coronavirus, it is a spirit. And that spirit is after a fulfillment of a prophecy that is supposed to be taking place in our time. We have waited for God. We have called on God. And we want to see the manifestation of God in the world. We have fasted. We desire to see a prophetic word that God announced in this season to come to pass. Because he said before the end time, there shall be a great revival that is supposed to take place in the whole world. Who knows that we are hitting the prophecy? Who knows that there is something that has been birthed spiritually and the devil could see that the prophecy is coming to pass and is after killing people who are holy. It's after killing people in this season so that he can terminate them. But the Bible says God always gave a divine escape for the seed that are born of the woman. Oh my God. Therefore, that's why I'm standing here to pray for you that you shall have a divine escape. That where the enemy has trapped and has put trap against you, I am prophesying prophetically you shall have a divine escape. That when they set things and they set demons in places to kill and to destroy you and the enemy has released demons all over the place in order to terminate people, the Lord shall come to your rescue, be to your family, be to your child, be to your children. The Lord is going to give us a divine escape. We are not going to die like mere man, but we are going to survive this season. We are going to survive it and step to the next dimension that God wants us to step by this season. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me show you a key. 
the devil has his angels and all this trouble today we are seeing in the world is just because of that prophecy the seed of God will kill the seed of the snake whatever this coronavirus is doing over the world is just after the seed of God is looking to kill the seed of God but we are undiable our protection is not by police our protection is not by medicine our protection is by the hand of God because the Bible said the Lord is our shelter the Lord is our protector and we are dwelling in a secret place and we are resting under the shadow of the Almighty God and we declare that the Lord is our refuge and is our fortress we shall not be exposed under the demonic influence that he has set against us but I'm announcing to you prophetically that there is a great time coming to the church after this season. There is a great moment, my mother, my brother, my sister, you are going to experience of the greatness of the hand of God. Though there shall be a crisis, but in that crisis, the children of God shall overcome it. As Joseph overcame the crisis, this also is the time the children of light are going to overcome the crisis that may come after this time. God used a system. System also used the system. He sent and he distributed his demon to enter the soldiers so that they can kill every firstborn. Those are demons in the hearts and the bodies of human beings hanging so that he can kill them. But God also had angels. The Bible said the moment Moses was born, there was a divine grace release to protect and the moment Jesus Christ our Lord was born, the Bible said there was a serious time of angelic ministry to the world. People saw angels. There was multitude of angels in the world. Why? To give a divine escape to the newborn, which is Jesus Christ. The Bible said when Jesus Christ was born, well born, well seated, well fed by the mother, then Gabriel appeared and said to them the message. And when Gabriel finished, the Bible said the angel that came with Gabriel, they began singing. And the moment they finished singing, the Bible said they were taken back to heaven. In another words, there was a multitude of angel release just to protect one seed, which is the seed of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People of God, we are the seed of God. We are the seed of God as the church. And God has released multitude of angels all over the world right now i see angels and this angel are signed to enter in every person house to spare you from the demons that the enemy has released all over the world coming from water to kill people prematurely this year i'm telling you as a prophet i see a multitude of angels because there is a prophecy about to be fulfilled in this season and you shall not die without you see that manifestation of that prophecy there is a time you have entered and there is a time that you have entered and you are going to survive it there is a serious angelic ministry that has been released from the heaven to protect you and to give you a divine escape the bible says you shall listen to the angel of the lord telling you take this road take that road so that you may be spared from the arrows and the traps that satan has set against you you are not in danger god is giving you power to protect your loved one to guard your family in safetyness and in divine protection and i'm now saying to you prophetically you will survive it you will survive it and the death shall not cross over your loved one even if you feel like your neighbor is sick right now i'm going to pray by God grace, the angel that the Lord has opened my eyes to see, there is a multitude of angels released to the world today, right now, to touch life, to deliver us life from this sickness. They are going to come, they are going to touch your life, they are going to reach out to you because nothing happened to the world unless somebody prays. And until we pray something and nothing can take place until somebody prays. And I remember in a few days, the Lord said to me, it is in adversity, when there is adversity, then I bring the best out of you. It is when there is a great opposition around you, then the best comes out of you. He said it was through adversity 
that I made David a king. It was through a great opposition that Jesus Christ was born. It was through a great opposition that Moses was born. The great things are always birthed out of opposition. In this season, same oppos opposition is great. In this season, it seems like the adversity is great. But God is in the business to raise the best out of his children. God is in the business to raise the best out of pastors, out of prophets, out of evangelists all over the world who have understood the times and season that we have right now. Because the enemy is after the children of God that are in your church. He knows that if he can kill, if I know if he, I can shut them, then this man can no longer function well. It's after the seeds of God. It's after the seeds that you are leading to the ways of righteousness. But it shall never succeed because the hand of God is upon us. In this time of opposition, the Bible said the best shall come out of us. And the Lord said to me, the best shall come out of many people that are touched in intimacy with him. They shall hear the voice of God and they shall tap on the anointing and the glory of God. I'm about to pray for you. That the healing grace and the divine protection of God shall reach out to everyone that are listening to me. That your life will never be the same again. Wherever you are, be in a place to pray for you. The same way Jacob said, God is in this place and I did not know. Because he saw angels ascending and descending. I am about to pray for divine angelic protections to every man and women that are listening to me right now, that the angels of God that gave a divine escape to Moses, even to Jesus Christ, shall reach out to you. I'm praying right now, wherever you are, if you are sick, deliverance is coming your way. I pray that in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Father, anyone who is sick under the influence of my voice, Holy Spirit, sickness dwell in the realm of existence, but you, you dwell in eternity. Sickness can never resist in the area and the place where eternity has stepped in. Your word is eternal. Sickness shall pass away. I stand now in the power of the volume of the name of Jesus Christ. And I command that devil. Devil in the name of Jesus. And in this name, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things beneath the earth. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. I stand in the power of the name of Jesus and I command every spirit of death. That sickness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lose that person. Lose that woman. Lose that mother. Lose that child. Lose that home. Lose that family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak by the power of Jesus' name. That devil to come out. That devil of darkness out in the name of Jesus. I speak light to enter your home. I speak light to enter your family. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ. Over your family. Over your loved one. Let the blood of Jesus spare you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak healing to enter your body. Healing to enter wherever where you are. Let sickness depart in the name of Jesus Christ. It cannot resist, but I command it to live in the name of Jesus. And I speak, let the angels of God to move where you are. Let the angel of God move where you are. Move into your house. Move wherever where you are listening to me. Receive the presence of the angels of God. Release to rescue you. To protect you from sickness. To guard your children and to guard yourself from the evil. In the name of Jesus. And if any argument and resistance in the atmosphere against this prayer. Be arrested and be silenced by the blood of Jesus Christ. But I declare let there be achievements. Of the prayer reaching out to you of the word of God. 
May God touch you and bless you. In the name that is above all name, the name of Jesus, I bless you. You are secured in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for your time. May the Lord bless you. Call us, call me. I believe this prayer has healed many people. Put this prayer to anyone who is sick. They shall be healed. I've seen a lot of miracles that God has done through me. God is still doing miracles. You will not die, but you shall live to proclaim the good work of God. Call us, the numbers are there. Contact us, WhatsApp us, and we are there to stand with you through this season and trying moments. In Jesus' mighty name, pastors, be strengthened by the word of God. May the Lord bless you and strengthen you. I love you all until I see you again. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.